Oh, it's quite nice, my favourite blogger. <laughs> So you join me at Haynes Breakfast Meet. Uh, it's March, I've just turned up. The Abarth crew were here from last time and um, another car has just turned up as well. Another Abarth car's arriving, as you can hear. Um, so I've got my 124 Abarth Spider down. My parents have got their 595 Competizione. Um, let me just spin you around a second. This one's here from last time also. And the white one, Michael's one, which I called quite nice and he won't let me forget that. His quite nice Abarth is here as well, which he's just let me have a sit in and taken a photo of me in his car, so thank you. So here's the lineup. Got the roost down in the uh, convertibles, and obviously I'm in convertible gang now, so the roost down in mine as well. She's extremely dirty, didn't realise she was actually this dirty, but hey ho, I haven't actually washed her yet, but she's sitting pretty and looking good. I've just met Sam at the Haynes uh, Motor Museum at the breakfast meet. Um, he's just seen the Abarth 124 Spider, and uh, he's just going to give his sort of views on what he thinks of the 124 Spider. So, uh, you like it? Yeah, it's, it's uh, definitely a good looking thing for uh, a Fiat. So and you say you've been in a Mazda before, and how, yeah, so how does this compare? Do you prefer yeah, it? It's, um, I, I do prefer the style of this one, particularly yeah. when you compare it to the, uh, the Mark IV or the, uh, the MX-5. It's definitely a bit more aggressive looking, whereas the the, the, the Mazda version is It's quite square. rounded, isn't it, the Mazda, yeah. whereas this is quite sort of square. Yeah, there's too many things about it look like front and rear, just not, not right, whereas I think they've done a, a good job on this one to uh, style it just right. It does look pretty mental on the outside, and, doesn't it? And the exhaust note of this one coming in. Yes, it, it, it doesn't sound like a Mazda, does it? <laughs> no, it's certainly not. It's, that's one thing I do look for in a car, is a nice engine sound. It's, yes. If you're going to be living on a daily basis, you need something to keep you entertained and well, for a nice engine note to some music. Yeah. Thanks, Sam. <laughs> Sorry, cheers. Say I know love, be a better man, I know I could, I'm trying to grow up, sorry for the hold up, hey when you don't show up, girl it really hurts me when you say yeah. I've been working on myself lately, self made and I felt crazy, cause girl I really want to treat you right and with this crazy life I'm needing help baby and I've never thought about us giving up. Cause you are mine and now this is us Feel I never seem to give enough But I'm working hard to be rich as fuck And I'm distracted browsing my phone You hate the fears when you alone I'm here but gone in my zone You say you feel I'm outgrown I hate the fact I never kept my promise To stay the same no matter what I profit You say you miss them and you fell in love with Then it hurts to know you think I'm changing constant I'm sorry, know this year has been up and down I'm blessed the baby you love me My emotions have shut down She asking what the fuck are we I heard you too bad, coming home for the worst and less. Ignore our feelings and I turn my back, crying on the floor. She tells me I don't know love. You don't really treat me like you should. I say I know love. Be a better man, I know I could. I'm trying to grow up. Sorry for the hold up. Hey, when you don't show up. Girl, it really hurts me when you say that I don't know love. You don't really treat me like you should. I say I know love. Be a better man. Every time we had ups and downs, we worked it down, you believe me, I know I need to stop saying sorry, start changing how I'm gonna act, yeah, going back to my old ways, ain't gonna keep us in town, now why you gonna pack, girl, I ain't really mean it, sick of the fast life, wanna take the scenic, say you won't believe me till I've proven you can see it, here you call me the meanest, but I leave the cut and treat it, no, it's only me to blame, I've been caught up with the change, I've been caught up with the game, guess I really missed out, trying to be rich now, that ain't really shit for a girl that would stay, yeah, baby, just wait, uh, know you are sad, you don't trust that, I ain't gonna and just break uh when you undress you just suspect i don't think that we make love babe i swear it work on us and no one never perish once i make it then we'll fly to paris and i'll never hear you say i don't think you know love you don't really treat this is a uh, sam's uh box or what is that vx220 <laughs> this is a guy i was just speaking to a minute ago about my bath 124 these are actually pretty cool guys you don't see too many of these on the road it's quite nice, isn't it? Oh, it's quite nice, my favourite blogger. <laughs> How are you, baby? You all right? Yeah, I'm good. I'm going to put you on, on later. I'm going to put a star in a reasonably priced... I'm putting you on. ...very nice car. <laughs> I'm going to put you in. Is that all right? Are you going now? Yeah, in a minute. I'm just... Ah, uh, quite nice bar with Michael in it. Bye, 
Michael. guys it's a few days after and the weekend that i went to uh, the haynes breakfast meet the end of march it's the last sunday of every month um wow what a crazy weekend it's been um saturday night i went to a last minute um car meet at a local uh, retail park that i've been to before um loads of cars there i took my bath my parents took their bath um, we went in a convoy like a supercar convoy i obviously didn't film that and then sunday obviously i knew haynes was going to be happening but i didn't know what the weather was going to be like Woke up the next morning, the weather was cloudy but dry, so yep, we took the Abarth 124 Spider and the Abarth Competition down to the Haynes Motor Museum in a Yeovil Somerset for the uh, breakfast meet. Um, yeah, it's been a cr pretty crazy weekend, full on uh, car shows, uh, my car went very dirty to both of them, it's now extremely dirty from the Haynes one because I got a bit lost on my way back, even though I had my sat nav on, went down a load of country roads, tight country roads at that full of potholes, full of puddles, and the side of the car is absolutely trash, which I'll show you in a minute. It's really, really desperate for its work. first wash now. First little mod done to my above 124 Spider. Stickers are on, so representing myself, basically. Hopefully it doesn't look too bad on camera, actually, but um, the car is absolutely filthy all along the side. It's got, like, mud splatters all along the body and even on some of the windows. So muddy, it really needs its first wash very soon. Look at the front, oh my goodness me. Nice parking. But I have some sort of exciting and sort of unexpected news, good news though for once. Um, at the car meet I went to Saturday night, I ended up bumping into a guy that owns a car I have been seeing around my local area. I've fallen in love with the car and I thought, wow, this car's great. It turned up at the Saturday night's meet, so I went straight over to the guy that owned it. And um, it turns out I'm now in a relationship with this guy, so it's even better. Um, so yeah, I met a guy on Saturday night. He then came along with me Sunday to the Haynes Museum. Um, he's actually in with like the VW sort of scene. So it'd be good to maybe get some sort of a bath videos, which obviously I do now. And it'd be good to sort of go into a different sort of scene, different category of cars, like the sort of slammed, modified VW scene that my boyfriend's currently into. So it'd be good to bring you some more sort of different type of videos. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the uh, Haynes clips that I got. Again, I was walking around my new boyfriend, so I didn't really want to film too much. I wanted to spend time with him, as you can probably understand, try and impress and all that um, by giving him my time. So yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, then as always, please give it a thumbs up and let me know. Give me a comment with what cars you like. There were some quite nice supercars there. I quite like this sort of golden orange sort of Aston Martin. That was pretty cool. Of course, our bath's always still the show for us. Um, share this video with your friends and anyone else that's interested in car videos. That'd be great. Help me get out there and reach 300 subscribers, which is pretty cool. I'm nearly there, so that's cool. I want to try and get 1,000 by the end of this year. Well, 1,000 as soon as possible is obviously a bonus. And... Um, yeah, follow me on Instagram for plenty of car photos and updates, and I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching as always, and see you later guys for another video. Bye!